Welcome to My View On, a series of podcasts where experts in the industry give their personal view on some of the big topics making waves in the media. All the views are the experts' own, providing a fresh look at key issues facing the financial industry. Now, how much do consumers really understand about what they're signing up for when they're presented with information by advisors or product providers? Well, with me to discuss this is Paul Spate from James Hay. Paul, welcome. Let's go back to basics first. What's the issue here? Well, I think this is an issue that's not just affecting financial services, and we'll come back to that in a moment. But if we think about society and our response to how we deal with click here, have you read the terms and conditions? I think this is a, a fundamental problem of actually do we understand what we have signed up to when we buy products. Now, the terms and conditions are a fundamental part of um, any provider when they're issuing a service to a client, but it's particularly so in financial services where the impact of making a bad decision can be quite catastrophic. And for us at, uh, at James Hay, one of the things when we're selling quite complicated savings products is that people really understand what it is that they've signed up to. OK, Paul, so why aren't we actually testing consumer understanding? Ultimately, we do need to test understanding and make sure that consumers fully understand what it is that they have bought and they understand the terms and conditions that might apply to them. If you think about the new technologies that are coming through, um, robo-advice is sort of the buzzword in the industry. A lot of these solutions are about um, ease of purchase for people. They can go online and then they can very quickly buy a financial product. And they'll get to a point where it says, yes, I've understood all the terms and conditions and they'll click yes I have. Now that's fine but how do we know they actually have understood because we live in a society now where we all click yes I have understood as you know. So for us the, the big challenge is just making sure now how do you do that? I probably can't do away with all the reams of terms and conditions because they're all there for a reason but what I can do and what I think we should be doing is really looking at have they understood what it is that they're actually buying. And give an example of 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 how that's been uh, perceived in other markets then we're relatively new to the phenomena here but um, elsewhere how, how's this problem been dealt with? Let, let me give you an example so we often cite the Australian marketplace as being something that um, the, the UK financial services are looking towards they had their RDR early in us and indeed in the retirement space there's always been the requirement for um, guidance and advice to be received at, at retirement great now recent studies the Cooper review highlighted that one in ten over 75 year olds in Australia were running out of money or had run out of money now of course that you could argue that means nine out of ten haven't but the bigger challenge that they had was certainly that actually had people understood the advice that they'd been given at the point of retirement and a lot of studies are showing that the majority of people simply hadn't understood the advice that they'd been given. So my argument would be if we can test that advice or test that the understanding of that advice more appropriately, then I think that would be a very good way to go forward. So Paul, there's clearly a problem here then. What's the solution? So the application for many financial products now is done online. So it makes it very straightforward for people to fill in their details and apply for these products or indeed, you know, where they've had advice and gone through that process. I would very much like to see a validation point during that journey. So as people are filling in the information about themselves and what they want to take out, you get to a point that says, do I understand it? And if you can't answer the questions correctly, then you're referred back to a point where it then says, this is the aspect that you need to understand further. Do I now understand it? Uh, yes, I do. Do I still want to apply? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't until I seek advice or some further clarification elsewhere. And that's where I think we could you know, make a great start in, in testing knowledge and making sure people understand the products they are buying. So it's a step by step approach that just prods people a little bit, wakes them up. Yes. And you could say in other industries, rather than just ticking the box and buying the music, it says, do you understand how your data is going to be used? Validate. You know, it shouldn't just be financial services. But for me, this is a big issue in our industry and I'd really like to see us taking the lead. OK. Paul Spate from James Hay. Thank you very much indeed.